on-stage pedal board mic stand still a good buy in 2023? Let's talk about it. What's going on everybody? My name is Adam. Welcome to the channel. My goal is to help you make good money playing music. If that sounds like something you'd be into, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. So back in 2021, I did a review of the on-stage GPA1003 pedal board mic stand and how I configured it for my live setup. Talk about a mouthful. As a refresher, the GPA1003 is a flat rectangular mic stand base designed to fit underneath your pedal board to minimize stage footprint and maximize usable space. Just a note, this is not a sponsored post. OnStage did not pay me to say this or give me anything for free. I just think it's a really awesome setup. It also has has three M20 threaded inserts that allow you to add different components to customize your layout. This makes it a super unique solution for musicians like me who play a variety of gigs in different capacities. My main setup happens to include the onstage GPB2000 compact pedal board, a locking boom, a guitar stand, and a speaker pole to hold my tablet. By the way, onstage, could you guys work on your product names? Since that review, I have taken it to practically every show I've played. How is it held up? Can onstage build gear that can withstand the rigors of the road? Two years on and hundreds of gigs later, I can easily say it was well worth the investment. As you can see, all of the original components are still in good condition and perfect working order. Sure, there are some dings and scratches, but everything is still hanging tough and I haven't had to replace a single piece. I think the biggest reason for that is when I started using this setup, I put all of the poles in an onstage bag that I had gotten with a boom stand I had previously purchased. This kept a lot of those small pieces from getting knocked off or beat up and makes moving this setup a lot easier. The base being as wide as it is means it has to be carried separately, but since it has a built-in handle, it hasn't really been that big of an issue. And considering it gets thrown around without any sort of protection, it still looks practically brand new. What I love the most about this rig is that it makes my space on stage super consistent. Regardless of the venue or any other condition, it feels amazing to set your gear up and it immediately feel familiar. The other big plus of the onstage GPA system is its versatility. The ability to add or remove pieces of the set depending on the gig has been an absolute game changer for me. In my 80s band, I'm normally playing this Steinberger, so... The guitar stand obviously stays at home, and I just use the tablet holder and the mic stand. For solo acoustic shows or sideman gigs, I typically use all three. I am a massive fan. Now, while I've really enjoyed this setup, there are a couple of things that I've noticed that I feel are worth mentioning. First off, this rig is not designed for players who prefer to play seated. Even with the extra boom arm, I've found that you have to be pretty high up on a bar stool in order to use the mic stand if you don't plan on standing the entire show. The other thing worth noting is that even though having everything within reach is super convenient, it can sometimes feel a bit isolating. If I'm doing lead vocals and playing guitar to gig, it feels like I'm behind a bunch of stuff which I'm not really crazy about. In fact, if we're playing bigger stages, I typically add a separate straight stand for my mic so that when I'm not playing, I can get out from behind it and connect better with the audience. Now that last one is definitely a personal preference, but if you're a musician who sits for some of your gigs, you're probably still gonna need a normal boom stand because this rig is not gonna cut it. So there you have it. Two years on, the onstage GPA 1003 is still a fantastic buy and worth looking into for any instrumentalist looking for a compact mic stand solution. If you dig this setup, check out the description as I will provide links for all of those components. Please note that those are affiliates and they do help support the channel. That's gonna do it for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every single Friday. Also, if you're looking for more advice on how to be a working musician, check out the Cover Band Confidential podcast. We are closing in on 300 episodes covering all the ways that you can make good money playing music. Have an awesome week and I'll see you next time.